Hi, it's Bruce. It's October 5th, 2014, and we're into the fall season, and I saw three great shows. So that's one of the reasons why I'm so happy today. So let's start with uh, the first of these three. Uh, it's only a play, a revival of the Terrence McNally comedy with a star-studded cast, and there's... Uh, Two reasons to see this. It's a pretty funny play, but it's really elevated by Nathan Lane, uh, who really is the funniest and the best. Uh, I know he's always dependable. He's just perfect in this. He's like comedy perfection, and the audience eats him up. However, the cast also includes Matthew Broderick, F. Murray Abraham, Megan Mullally, Rupert Grint from the Harry Potter series, and a wonderful actor named Micah Scott, Stock, um, sorry Micah, who's very funny. Now, we didn't see Stocker Channing. She was out for a leg injury. We saw the wonderful Isabel Keating. So we were kind of happy because we love Isabel Keating. Um, it's directed very nicely by Jack O'Brien, and it's it's Nathan Lane. That's it's funny theater jokes. It's about the opening night of a play, and uh, Matthew Broderick is the playwright. Nathan Lane uh, is an old friend who's come to support him, who's an actor on television now, and there's. Lots of in-theater jokes. Um, a lot of people complain that people don't even get some of the jokes if they don't know theater, but, of course, I got them all. So I highly recommend it if you can get a ticket. We paid full price. I usually tell people on this blog how much I pay for tickets, and this was one of those tickets we knew we couldn't get, so we bought full price, and we were very happy. The play does sag here and there later, and it, it's... It's really not the greatest play, but it's the greatest production with the best cast you'll ever see. And it's well worth uh, your time and money if you want to spend some time with these stars. I had a little complaint about Megan Mullally. In the very first scenes, she, we couldn't hear her. She was so quiet. Uh, but it was very funny. She comes in with these snow boots on, because it's winter, and... Uh, we had a hard time hearing her. Then she takes her boots off and she puts on shoes and we heard her for the rest of the show. <laughs> I kept thinking the boots muffled her. Now I know that can't be the case, but it was sort of like amusing, like now we hear her? All right, so it's only a play at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater. Um, it's funny. Now, we have a very interesting history with the next show, Hedwig and the Angry Inch which we uh, just saw with Andrew Rannells. Both my partner and I don't really care for Hedwig and the Angry Inch. We saw the original off-Broadway and it just, I know it's a giant hit and it's very famous and people loved it. It's a rock musical and I like rock musicals, but I just never got it. I just thought Hedwig was, I'm like, I just don't bother me with your story. And we saw the film, and I have the same conclusion to that, just didn't care for it. I wanted to see Neil Patrick Harris, and uh, Bill was off in either La Jolla or D.C., I think, and I, he wanted to see it with me, and so we didn't get tickets. And then he said, you know, he could get house seats and through an agent or something, and then he came back and it turns out you couldn't get any tickets to Neil Patrick Harris after a while. They were just gone. So we never saw Neil Patrick Harris. So I love Andrew Rannells. We both do, and we wanted to see uh, Andrew Rannells from Book of Mormon uh, take over the role of Hedwig. So I got a discount. I think it was a, a flyer discount, $99 or something, something like that. And uh, we had nice third row mezzanine seats. Loved it. <laughs> We loved it, and I really think the difference is, first of all, it was a big, lavish production, which may be wrong for Hedwig, because Hedwig's supposed to be kind of down and out. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Hedwig is a German uh, performer who had a box sex chain, bo botched, 
<laughs> boxed <laughs> sex change operation and winds up uh, keeping just a little bit of his male part uh, one, one said angry inch. So uh, that's Hedwig's sad story. And, um, but the production is much more glamorous than it was uh, off-Broadway. And uh, I think it, it kind of works. It, it made it a little bit more Broadway for me. And um, Michael Mayer is a genius. Michael Mayer, who directed one of my favorite shows, American Idiot, does another slam-bang direction project with Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Uh, wonderfully directed. I loved it. I fell for Hedwig. I understood Hedwig. Um, I laughed with Hedwig. I felt bad for Hedwig. And oh, Lena Hall uh, won the Featured Actress category in the Tonys. She plays uh, Hedwig's boyfriend. And she's wonderful. Uh, she sort of wanders on stage with a band at the beginning. You don't even realize it's Lena Hall or a woman because she's just like this guy on stage. She's excellent. She deserves her Tony. And uh, I loved it. Now, he's only doing it till like the end of October, Andrew Reynolds. He was wonderful. Oh, oh, and I have to say, if you go to it, no matter who you see, look on the floor. They have these special playbills from the show that closed the day before, supposedly, during intermission. The Hurt Locker, the musical. Um, starring uh, Bobby Cannavale and Michael uh, Cerberus. <laughs> so this is sort of a funny uh, souvenir to grab, but they're on the floor. All right, now yesterday we went down to see, oh, let me take a sip of my tea out of my sideshow mug from Washington, D.C. Yesterday we went down to see On the Town. We didn't know we were seeing a show. We didn't plan on it. Bill was going to have rehearsal, but he didn't have rehearsal for Sideshow, opening on Broadway. And uh, we said, well, let's go see On the Town, because we wanted to see it together, and we've actually got some friends in it. So we, uh, we went down right before curtain, like an hour before, got 11th row sender on the half price. And uh, so we had great seats. The theater is the Lyric Theater on 42nd Street. It's quite a large theater, so we were really lucky. Now, this is my third on the town that I've ever seen. But let me tell you who's in this one. Oh, let's speak about great directors. John Rando. This is the favorite on the town that I've, I have seen of my three, and I'm going to tell you about the others uh, in a minute. Uh, Josh uh, Burgas, I think is how you pronounce his name, is a wonderful choreographer. To tell you the truth, I wasn't crazy about going to see On the Town when I heard it was being revived because I've had disappointing outings my last two Broadway productions of it. Uh, but this did not disappoint me. It's uh, Tony Yazbek, Jay Armstrong Jones, Clyde Alvis are the three men. Megan Fairchild from the New York City Ballet plays Ivy. Elizabeth Stanley is Claire DeLune. And Alicia Umfris, uh, who's, who is a friend of ours, uh, spoiler, uh, is Hildy. Also are Jackie Hoffman, in it are Jackie Hoffman, uh, Michael Rupert, and Stephen DeRosa. When you have supporting people like that, you can't go wrong. Uh, Comden and Green and Leonard Bernstein wrote the incredible score from 1945, I think was the original. And um, it was wonderful. Now let me tell you about the other two on the towns I saw. I saw um, one in the 70s, I believe, uh, on the town with Jess Richards, Remack Ramsey, Ron Hussman, and uh, Donna McKechnie, Bernadette Peters, and Phyllis Newman. Uh, but it was disappointing. Uh, and then we went to see the one that was, I don't know, what, 10 years ago at the Gershwin Theater with uh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, um, Robert Montana and Perry Leyland uh, Ojedo. And the women were. Oh, Ty Jimenez? I don't know her, even though I saw her. Ivy Smith. Uh, Sarah Knowlton was Claire. And. Uh, well, Leah Delaria was Hildy. 
uh, and she was quite funny. Mary Testa actually was the best thing in it. Anyway, they were both disappointing. <clears throat> John Rando, Rando whips up with Josh Bergas, uh, a wonderful on the town, but I'll tell you the two people, Tony Asbeck is the real center as Gaby, and he uh, has a wonderful pas de deux and sings uh, Lonely Town beautifully. In fact, Lonely Town was a song that, uh, well, really wonderful song, is never one of my favorite songs. I just was crying. I just was crying through this version of Lonely Town. It was so good, Tony. Uh, however, the, I think the heart of the show are Jay Armstrong Jones and uh, Alicia Umfris as Hildy and Chip. Jay Armstrong Jones, what? Well, he's like perfection, but what a dancer. I had no idea. It's like the audience like just screams at... Uh, when Alicia sings, come up to my place, because she's so funny, and he's so agile and limber in that taxi. It's, like, brilliant. And uh, also, I can cook, too. When she sings, and when Alicia sings, I can cook, too. It's just theater heaven. <clears throat> and then, at the uh, toward the end, when they sing Some Other Time, which kills me whenever I hear anybody sing it, I was just devastated, and I didn't have a Kleenex, and my shirt got, like, all wet from crying on it. All right, now I do want to say something about how wonderful New York and the theater is. Yesterday when we were in line, in a rainy day yesterday, going to see On the Town, we were very happy to be able to do that. And we were in line to pick it up, and a young guy comes up, and his name's Danny Decker, and he watches my videos, and he loves uh, Sideshow and Bill Russell, and so he asked if we were Bruce and Bill, because he had seen us, and uh, I said yes. and. Um, uh, he's in college, and uh, it just reminded me of, like, I'm 66. I was that age, and I was that enthusiastic, <laughs> and I hope I still am. So, Danny, you just made my day yesterday. <laughs> thank you. And then I want to thank my friend Jeff Mealy, who actually remembers, who I met um, while I was doing a blog on hair. He emailed me, and we became friends. And, um, sorry, I'm crying. Uh, Jeff remembers when Danny was young, and Jeff used to talk about shows with little Danny Decker when he was a kid, which just killed me because it's so funny. Uh, Jeff's in his, uh, I would think, mid-20s. So, uh, And I want to thank Danny Norris, who's always been a friend in Australia, who I've never met, who watches, and Dave Perry, who uh, is now, I think, at AMTA studying, who emailed me uh, over one of my blogs. And it's these, um, the, the young people, <laughs> the young people, you guys, Dave, Danny, Jeff, um, Danny, you just keep me feeling so good about theater and wanting to do these blogs, because sometimes I get kind of old and tired. Well, I think I've just been calling Jay Armstrong Johnson, Jay Armstrong Jones once in a while, and it just hit me, <laughs> because I was thinking of Anthony Armstrong Jones. So I apologize, and I'm putting this back together, and I'm ending my blog. Um, but it was so great to see Alicia and Jay in the dressing room. And it's Jay Armstrong Johnson, in case I've been saying it wrong, because uh, I've had a lot to talk about this morning. So congratulations to On the Town. It's only a play. And Andrew Reynolds in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Lots of good stuff out there to see. And thanks a lot for watching.